The Lockheed Martin C-130 is the U.S. Air Force's principal tactical cargo and personnel transport aircraft. The C-130J Hercules is the latest model, featuring a glass cockpit, digital avionics, and a new propulsion system with a six-bladed propeller. The C-130 has been in continuous production since 1954, and Hercules aircraft is operational in over 70 countries. Lockheed Martin delivered the 2600 C-130 Hercules aircraft to the U.S. Air Force in October 2019. The improvements built into the C-130J, which entered production in 1997, have enhanced the performance of the aircraft in terms of its range, cruise ceiling time to climb, speed, and airfield requirements. A stretched version, the C-130J-30, has been developed and designated the CC-130J by the U.S. Air Force. The first C-130J-30 for the UK Royal Air Force, the launch customer, was delivered in November 1999. The C-130J entered active service with the U.S. Air Force at Little Rock Air Force Base in April 2004 and was first deployed in December 2004. The first of five C-130J Super Hercules aircraft intended for deployment at Little Rock left Lockheed Martin's facility for delivery to the base in August 2013. The first combat airdrop for the U.S. Air Force was in July 2005. The U.S. Air Mobility Command declared initial operating capability for the C-130J in October 2006. The U.S. Air Force awarded a $167 million block upgrade contract to Lockheed Martin in December 2011 to overhaul the C-130J Hercules with Block 8.1 configuration. The Block 8.1 configuration contains software and hardware capability expansion such as modernized identification friend or foe, automatic dependent surveillance broadcast, communication, navigation, and air traffic management data link. C-130J is crewed by two pilots and a loadmaster. The new glass cockpit features four L3 systems with multifunction liquid crystal displays for flight control and navigation systems. Each pilot has a flight dynamics head-up display. Supplied by BAE Systems i.e. WS, the dual mission computers operate and monitor the aircraft systems and provide status updates for the crew. The cockpit is fitted with the Northrop Grumman low-power color radar display. The map shows digitally stored image data. The C-130J is equipped with a Honeywell Dual Embedded Global Positioning System slash Inertial Navigation System, GPS slash INS, Enhanced Traffic Alerting and Collision Avoidance System, ECAS, a Ground Collision Avoidance System, an SKE-2000 Station Keeping System, and an Instrument Landing System, ILS. In July 2008, Lockheed Martin announced the following would be included in the baseline configuration of new C-130JS, Elbit Systems Global Digital Map Unit, the TACView Portable Mission Display, and Integraflight Commercial GPS Landing System Sensor Unit, supplied by CMC of Canada. The cargo bay of the C-130J has a total usable volume of more than 4, 500 feet superscript 3, and can accommodate loads up to 37,216 pounds. For example, three armored personnel carriers, five pallets, 74 litters, stretchers, 92 equipped combat troops, or 64 paratroops. The bay is equipped with cargo handling rollers, tie-down rings, storage containers, and stowage for troop seats. The ATKN, Double AR-47 missile warning system uses electro-optic sensors to detect missile exhaust and advanced signal processing algorithms and spectral selection to analyze and prioritize threats. Sensors are mounted near the nose just below the second cockpit window and in the tail cone. The BAE Systems and Slash ALR-56M radar warning receiver is a super-heterodyne receiver operating in the 2 GHz to 20 GHz bands. 
A low-band antenna and four high-band quadrant antennae are installed near the nose section below the second window of the cockpit and in the tail cone. The BAE Systems Integrated Defense Solutions, formerly Tracer, and Slash ALE 47 countermeasures system is capable of dispensing chaff and infrared flares in addition to the POET and GenX active expendable decoys. The Lockheed Martin and NALQ-157 infrared countermeasures system generates a varying frequency agile infrared jamming signal. The infrared transmitter is surface-mounted at the aft end of the main undercarriage bay fairing. U.S. Air Force selected the Northrop Grumman Large Aircraft Infrared Countermeasures LAIRCM, system, Additional Electronic Warfare Self-Protection EWSP, system to equip its C-130 aircraft. LAIRCM is based on the n aaq 24 v Nemesis. The system achieved final operational capability, FOC, in December 2019. Five-year delivery order for the system was placed by U.S. Air Force in July 2006. Australia requested the sale of LAIRCM to equip its fleet of 12 C-130J in May 2008. The LAIRCM system was installed in C-130J aircraft by Air 5416, Phase 4B2, for the protection of the Australian Defence Force, ADF. The Northrop Grumman Modar 4000 color weather and navigation radar are installed in the upward hinged dielectric radome in the nose of the aircraft. The weather radar has a range of 250 nanometers. The C-130J is equipped with four Allison AE2100D3 turboprop engines, each rated at 4,591 shaft horsepower, 3,425 kilowatts. The all-composite six-blade R391 propeller system was developed by Doughty Aerospace. The engines are equipped with full authority digital electronic control by Lucas Aerospace. An automatic thrust control system optimizes the balance of power on the engines, allowing lower values of minimum control speeds and superior short airfield performance. The aircraft can carry a maximum internal fuel load of 45,900 pounds. An additional 18,700 pounds of fuel can be carried in external underwing fuel tanks. The refueling probe installed on the center of the fuselage has been relocated to the port side, over the cockpit. The C-130J-30 is the stretched version of the C-130J. The cargo floor length of the stretched version is increased from 40 feet to 55 feet, which gives a significant increase in the aircraft's airlift capability. The stretched C-130J-30 can carry 8463L pallets, 97 liters, 24 CDS, U.S. Container Delivery System, bundles, 128 equipped combat troops, or 92 paratroopers. The first C-130J-30 for the UK Royal Air Force was delivered in November 1999, and deliveries of all 15 aircraft were completed in June 2001. A former UK RAF C-130J Hercules was transported to the US to join the US Navy Aerobatic Flight Demonstration Squadron, the Blue Angels, in August 2020. A total of 39 aircraft are in production for the US Air Force, the first of which was delivered to the Air National Guard in December 2001. Twelve were delivered to the Royal Australian Air Force and ten to the Italian Air Force. Four were ordered by Kuwaiti Air Force and three by the Danish Air Force. The Indian Air Force operates 11 C-130J-30S and placed orders for additional aircraft. Tata Lockheed Martin Aerostructures Limited delivered the 100th C-130J Super Hercules empennage from its manufacturing facility in Hyderabad, India in February 2019. The Royal New Zealand Air Force confirmed the purchase of five C-130J-30S in June 2020, which was approved by the US in 2019. A total of 1,186 C-130J and C-130J-30 aircraft were ordered and more than 150 were delivered. 
U.S. Air Force, Air National Guard, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard have ordered 89 C-130J and C-130J-30 and 20 KC-130J tankers, while the UK has accepted delivery of 10 C-130J and 15 C-130J-30. Italian Air Force received 12 C-130J and 10 C-130J-30, while the Royal Australian Air Force received 12 C-130J. Finally, Kuwaiti Air Force and Danish Air Force now have 4 C-130J-30S. In April 2004, the U.S. Marine Corps formally accepted the first KC-130J tanker and transport into service. The aircraft was first deployed in combat in April 2005 in Iraq. In December 2006, an additional order was placed for three C-130J-30 for U.S. Air Force and one KC-130J for the USMC. The KC-130J was delivered to the USMC in October 2010. In May 2007, India requested the foreign military sale of six C-130J aircraft. The $1.2 billion FMS contract was placed in February 2008. The first C-130J was delivered to the Indian Air Force in December 2010 and entered service in February 2011. The third and fourth C-130JS were delivered in June 2011. The fifth aircraft was delivered in September 2011. Deliveries were concluded in December 2011. In November 2007, Norway placed an order for the purchase of four C-130J Super Hercules aircraft under a $519 million FMS agreement. One aircraft was delivered in November 2008 and the second in April 2009. Deliveries concluded in May 2010 with the handing over of the fourth C-130J aircraft. In September 2012, Lockheed Martin delivered an additional C-130J Super Hercules aircraft to the Norwegian Air Force as Norway lost one of its four aircraft in March 2012. In January 2008, Canada placed a $1.4 billion order for 17 C-130J aircraft. The first delivery took place in June 2010 at the Canadian Forces Base Trenton. Deliveries were completed by April 2012. In June 2008, U.S. Air Force ordered six HCMC-130J Special Operations variants of the C-130J. The first MC-130J was delivered in March 2011. In April 2010, the Israeli government ordered nine C-130J-30 aircraft. Lockheed Martin delivered the first C-130J Super Hercules aircraft to the Israeli Air Force in June 2013. Under an undefined contract action UCA, signed with the U.S. government in April 2011, Lockheed Martin supplied an additional C-130J to Israel in August 2015. Qatar ordered four C-130J-30 aircraft. The production of the first C-130J-30 aircraft was completed in May 2011. Lockheed Martin delivered four C-130J-30 aircraft to the Qatar Armed Forces in September 2011. In August 2008, Iraq requested the sale of six C-130J-30 aircraft. The first aircraft completed its maiden flight in September 2012. The Sultanate of Oman ordered one C-130J-30 long configuration aircraft in July 2009 for delivery in 2012. In August 2010, Oman ordered two additional C-130J aircraft. The first aircraft was delivered in September 2012, and two more in 2014. Lockheed Martin signed a contract with Tunisia in March 2010 to supply two C-130J Super Hercules airlifters. Lockheed Martin delivered the first C-130J to Tunisia in April 2013. The second aircraft was delivered in December 2014. The U.S. government awarded a $245 million FMS contract to Lockheed Martin on May 27, 2010 for supplying three KC-130J refueling aircraft to Kuwait Air Force. The contract was managed by the U.S. Navy. The first aircraft was delivered in August 2014. 
The Republic of Korean Air Force ROCAF, ordered four C-130J Super Hercules aircraft in December 2010. Lockheed Martin delivered the first two C-130JS to the ROCAF in March 2014. It also provided aircrew and maintenance training for two years. Lockheed Martin was awarded a $270 million contract by U.S. Air Force in February 2011 to supply C-130 aircrew training systems. The contract includes the provision of training and instruction services, site management, engineering support, and operation and maintenance for aircrew training devices. In September 2011, CAE was awarded a contract by U.S. Air Force to design, build and supply for additional full-flight simulators for C-130J transport aircraft. The first MC-130J Shadow II aircraft was delivered to the United States Air Force Special Operations Command by Lockheed Martin in September 2011. Lockheed Martin delivered the first HC-130J Combat King II aircraft to the U.S. Air Education and Training Command AETC, in the same month. Lockheed Martin was awarded an $84.3 million contract by U.S. Air Force on September 12, 2011 for the first phase of the C-130J Maintenance and Aircrew Training System MATS, II program. The company supplied four weapon system trainers WST, to the Air Mobility Command, Air Combat Command, and Air Force Special Operations Command for aircrew instruction and renders program management and engineering services as part of the contract. The contract included an option to procure two more WSTs, in addition to other types of trainers, including a fuselage trainer. U.S. Air Force exercised one option to procure an additional WST. CAE designed and manufactured the WST under a subcontract received from Lockheed Martin in March 2013. In October 2011, India exercised an option to purchase six additional C-130JS from Lockheed Martin under an estimated $1.2 billion foreign military sale. U.S. Air Force Baseline Instruments, six Rolls-Royce AE-2100 D3 additional engines, eight and slash AAR-47 missile warning systems and eight and slash ALR-56M advanced radar warning receivers will also be delivered under the military sale. In October 2012, the U.S. Coast Guard placed a $218 million order with Lockheed Martin for three additional HC-130J aircraft. Lockheed Martin delivered two additional C-130Js to Little Rock Air Force Base in December 2015. The base currently operates a fleet of 47 aircraft. The U.S. government awarded a multi-year two contract to Lockheed Martin in December 2015 for 78 C-130J aircraft. U.S. Air Force received two more C-130J Super Hercules aircraft in June 2016. The U.S. government finalized a C-130J multi-year three contract with Lockheed Martin to deliver 50 C-130Js in December 2019. The aircraft will be built at Lockheed Martin's Marietta, Georgia, facility and delivered between 2021 to 2025. The defense provided the funding of more than $1.5 million for the delivery of the first 21 C-130Js under the contract. In November 2015, Lockheed Martin was awarded a $969 million contract by the U.S. Department of Defense for 17 C-130J Hercules. In December 2015, the Royal Air Force awarded a £369 million contract to Marshall Aerospace and Defense Group, Lockheed Martin and Rolls-Royce to receive Hercules Integrated Operational Support HIOS, for the C-130J fleet until 2022. Lockheed Martin received an order of 14 C-130JS to be delivered to the U.S. Air Force installation at Yokota Air Base in Japan. The first aircraft was delivered in February 2017, and the order was completed in May 2018. France ordered four Super Hercules aircraft, of which two C-130JS were delivered in 2017 and 2018, while the first KC-130J aerial refueler was delivered in September 2019.